You can see his imprint in some of the most iconic places. T-Mobile Park, Climate Pledge Arena, and Amazon's headquarters. But Jerry Sudakawa's most recent project at Seattle's Washington Park Arboretum was especially personal and one he was initially reluctant to do. At first, you know, I thought I would not do this. It was just, you know, too complicated, too much work. And I said, let somebody else build it. But there's nobody else that could build this thing. That thing is something his father, George, designed 46 years ago. He was a UW professor, an internationally renowned sculptor known for his unique fountains. But his legacy at the Arboretum was these bronze gates, gates that a young Jerry fabricated for his father in the mid 70s. It was my father's project, you know, I was just a helper. For 46 years, those gates welcomed people to the Arboretum, a memorial to those who loved and supported this urban sanctuary. But in 2020, days into the pandemic, thieves stole and cut one up for scrap. They were both beyond repair. The first off, it was shock because everybody was going, what, somebody stole the gates? Why would they do that? And there was a lot of anger and emotions because this is the Arboretum. You know, a lot of people consider this a sanctuary. This is a place where they like to connect with. So I think people felt violated. A Jerry's initial hesitation didn't last long and he dove into a two and a half year journey to recreate this intricate gate which features 150 pieces of bronze. He used his father's original design plans, but sourcing the materials would be a challenge. All these are compound curves, so they're rolled in one direction and then they're cupped. So that's not a standard roll. I was so worried the first day because getting it installed on two posts and making sure that everything lined up and nothing was done on a computer. It was all hand built. But those worries were put to rest when the community gathered on a beautiful fall day to celebrate the new installation. The gates, initially created as a memorial for people who love and support the Arboretum, was now also a symbol of resilience. And to Jerry, it meant revisiting an artistic legacy of his father, one he was proud to be part of then and now.